You, my dear viewer, might be someone who has a 3D printer at home. Maybe you have a few 3D printers at home and it's isolated as it should be. It should not be in your bedroom or in your bed, weirdo. But even if you don't have a questionable relationship with your printer, you might want to make it safer because maybe that area is difficult to ventilate or maybe it's not completely isolated from your house. Maybe you have kids, maybe you have someone in your family with respiratory concerns. It makes sense to make this safer. Enter filters. These draw the air from the chamber with a fan and filter out particulates and such that in high enough concentrations can be damaging to your health. Lots of printers have filters these days. They're great. Except, are they? This is the X1 Carbon. It is a great printer for printing ABS, ASA, and other high temperature materials. And it has a carbon filter. It is a carbon filter, right? What kind of carbon filter? Uh, X1C carbon filter grade. Hmm. Nothing really. It's just a paper box with carbon granules in it. It has a fan, but honestly, I don't know how effective this is. Unfortunately, that is the case with a lot of printers. Lots of printers have carbon filters. We just don't see any grade or standardization. We're in the dark. We don't know if they're effective. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. The standard grade for a carbon filter is HEPA. Lots of printers have carbon filters that are HEPA-like or HEPA style. There's no standardization or grade. Only a handful of consumer grade 3D printers actually use HEPA filters. Some might seem like a filter to beginners, but they're actually just a little bit of foam that protects the chamber fan from bits of filament getting into it. And then of course, there are lots of printers that just don't have carbon filters. I found an article in the Journal of Atmospheric Environment detailing a risk assessment of 3D printing emissions. They tested a few different kinds of filament and ABS and nylon were the worst offenders. No offense to Lulzbot, these were just what was tested. Caprolactam and styrene were the chemicals with highest levels in the fumes. For ABS, it was mostly styrene, obviously, and for nylon, it was caprolactam. Both of these are toxic, styrene being the worst. As for particulates, again, most were from ABS with PLA being the least offensive. So we get it. If you print a lot of ABS or similar materials a lot of the time, it makes sense to get a filter and preferably one that is standardized and is just not a blank box of carbon pellets. Alveo 3D supply a bunch of filter kits. This one specifically is designed to be well mounted to custom enclosures. Alveo 3D also make their own enclosures and other filtration systems, but you can get the individual parts in the 3D Jake shop right now to fit your needs if you have made your own enclosure or if you want to have the parts to make your own filter setup for basically any enclosed printer.